Ow. This is a disaster. We just had an earthquake, so my TV was dancing a little bit. No. So, Renee Rap. I saw she was a musical guest on SNL. Get a number, get a name, get a good thing while you can. Kiss a blind, kiss a friend, get a gay girl, get a name, man. Same from before. I've watched that video more times than I would like to admit. She played Regina George in Broadway, and she was also in the recent remake, the Mean Girls movie remake. If she's like from Broadway, she has probably had extensive professional training, and she also, she probably has like a really strong voice. I find interesting that a musical theater singer goes from Broadway to a pop album, but I'm excited to listen to this. So there's 12 songs, 37 minutes, um, and the album's name is Snow Angel. There's three music videos um, for the song Talk Too Much, Snow Angel, and Pretty Girls. I have them here open up. I haven't seen them. The first song is Talk Too Much. Tasted the blood in my mouth and left you there to bleed. She's so pretty. So what the hell does it all mean? I'm here again, talking myself out of my own happiness. I'll make it all the liquid. Talking myself Talking myself out of my own happiness. I think I talked to I know nothing about poker. I think that's what they're playing, right? I feel like, to me, taking everything as a sign is... I do that because I'm an overthinker. I always... I'm always thinking that I'm gonna make a decision that I'm gonna end up regretting. So instead of making the decision, I make up on my mind that there's a sign to make this or that choice. If it ends up not being the right choice, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Okay, having said Why are they being kidnapped? So like, I, I, I want to be with you. Like, like maybe even forever. Holy shit. Okay, maybe not forever. I mean, like, I'm, are you mad at me? Because it's cool if you are. Right? Like, I don't care. But, like, if, if you are, I'm going to be mad at you. 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 That was fun. That's a solid first track. I really liked it. I still want to know why they were kidnapped. Track number two, I Hate Boston. This is different. I was just a tourist Still stuck in your high school year But why do we have Still stuck in your high school yearbook. That's a really good roast. How to make me hate Boston? It's not his fault that you don't love me. Oh. It's not his fault, just a casualty. And casuals the way you chose to leave. <laughs> Just burn it, burn it down. Just burn it. Mm, yeah, I love build ups. to listen to that again. 
Casual is the way you chose to live. Wow. I don't know if she actually has an ex in Boston, but... Or maybe just it sounds good. It wouldn't be as fun if it's like, I hate Salt Lake City. When I was younger and stupid, my first girlfriend, I dedicated my favorite song at that time to her. And it was Chocolate by the 1975. After we, we broke up, I was like, why... Now this song that I love, it's gonna make me think about her and the breakup. But th that was my own fault. Now I still love that song and I still listen to it. And I don't even think about it. And, I f and if I do, it's not pain. I just feel like, you know, makes me happy that I've grown up a lot ever since. I shouldn't have dated her to begin with. But well, that's another story. Uh, that, that end with the drums and the the vocals the chorus in the back that's great i love that kind of stuff i love the build-ups okay number three uh poison poison Can poison poison that's clever what did this person do this album so far is giving but i don't give a fuck <laughs> yeah I love that she says, you can poison poison like worst person on earth. And then she's like, baby girl. Like that tells you a lot about her attitude towards things. like a, a power move very passive aggressive well not really it's very aggressive <laughs> that end was crazy i wonder how that's if there's like a clean version of this poison poison that that's clever i like it number four gemini moon i know nothing about astrology every day i'm different i talk shit then i bite my tongue Moving in, then I'm on the run You're the driver, I'm the passenger You're so fucking perfect, how come I'm not feeling more? Ooh. Hope this doesn't make you insecure But yesterday was heaven, now I'm bored I bet you're sick of it Every so night Ooh, beautiful Always the problem, kid I can never pick a side Okay, so it actually has nothing to do with Gemini. I hate when people blame their shitty actions or toxic traits on their astrological sign. Just own your mistakes and go to therapy. I want to hear that. How come I'm not feeling more again? You're so fucking perfect. How come I'm not feeling more? Oh. I bet you're sick of it. Jeez, you're a boy. So Always a problem, kid. I could never pick a son. I bet you're sick of it. I could bend the gym and know. I 
I bet you're sick of it. Believe me, so am I. I can resonate with that. Like, I also experience mood swings a lot. And it's hard for the people around you. You also feel horrible because you're the one experiencing the mood swings. But also you feel guilty that it affects the people you love around you. But, you know, at the end she's like taking accountability of her actions and not saying it's her. Gemini Moon. Number five is Snow Angel, the name of the album. Okay, product placement. Last to arrive, last to leave. What's misery without company? I'll make it through the winter if it kills me. I can make it faster if I have. It's like she has lost herself. This is making me emotional. Like the part where she says, I came so far, I made a boy, he broke my heart. I blame him cause it's easier. But I still look for him and her. I don't know if her is like a partner or herself. Maybe it's herself probably. I guess trauma makes good songs, unfortunately. I don't know the story behind the song. I always try to give the song a meaning. That's the cool part of songwriting and songs is that everyone can interpret the lyrics differently. But at the end, uh, the production, the melody, the song, the chord progression, all of that plays a huge part of the feeling of the song, not only the lyrics. And here you can tell she's talking about something that hurt her a lot. And regardless of how you interpret the lyrics, the tone of the song is still a, a, a sad one. It's emotional. Number six. So what now? I found out from a friend of a friend that you're here again. A friend of a friend. What gives you the right to come back to the city that I live in? <laughs> yeah, I know that you grew up here. And I know that your family's here. So now, we I like the melody. If we run into the each guitar. other on the streets, and I keep walking, was chill. Do you lie and say you don't want to see me again? Cause I do it too. I know I cuss you out, that's my mouth, but you should be banging on my doorbell. <laughs> now things ended well, that I'm over dramatic. It was still, do you lie and say? Bridge. You don't cross the streets, but I think I love you. <laughs> Welcome back to California. I love you. You're so small, I 
could take you across the world. I wish I could again. I might kiss you, but I also might fight you. She can't go to Boston and cannot stay in California. That was a great, great song. I really liked the guitar, the guitar melody. Um, I'm loving this album so far. Hmm, yeah. No skips for me, though Snow Angel is quite sad. Okay, number seven, the wedding song. It's an interesting name. There's an old song I wrote for you. It was everything you wanted to be. Your melody lived a minor chord fall. It was timeless like you and me. It went like you are my one, you said my one. Okay, so it's two songs in one. She's like, I wrote this shit for you. I couldn't finish it because you're an asshole. So, here it is. I wonder if she actually wrote it like that, like she was writing a song and then didn't finish it and did this. Uh, I, I, I can tell the, the verses are like in um, mainly minor chords and the chorus is like in major chords. You can tell the difference. The happy part with the sad part. I love bridges as you can tell. Like, I love the bridges, or like the last pre-chorus. Number seven, pretty girls. Is this like, a uh, girls just wanna have fun? You say that I'm your favorite With your hand between my thighs Tell me if you were gone That I would be the one you tried Oh. You think that I'll be flattered? It's pathetic cause you're right. <laughs> In the PM, all the pretty girls, they have a couple drinks, all the pretty girls. So now they wanna kiss all the pretty girls. They got to have a taste of a pretty girl. In the AM, all the pretty girls, I got it never happened in another world. Yeah, it's a blessing and it's a curse. So keep on pretending pretty girl. All the pretty girls. Nice. Okay, I I don't think she actually means that. I see two possible different reasons why this could happen. Either this person is just experimenting or just kissing for fun, which can suck for the other person, or this person is having trouble accepting their sexuality. And in that case, it sucks for both of them. It sucks, honestly. I've been there. It's hard having to hide when you already came out because you're with someone that has to hide that part of their life. No, nice one. Like the drums. Yeah. Mm. I kind of want to learn that, um, the drum part. It gave me kind of, um, Blue is the Warmest Color vibes. I love that movie. Pretty Girls. It was a fun, fun video. But I'm glad we got a... Well, you know, it's still a hard topic to talk about, but it's like more and more upbeat. Nine. Tell me it hurts. Why? Why does it hurt? Hmm? Why are there no lyrics? I like her lyrics. Wait. I want the lyrics. Baby, I should 
to try religion Cause Jesus, you're hard to rely on I never find you in the kitchen Couldn't even pay rent for three months But oh, you always had money to smoke them mm. Now my tummy hurts He's in love with her But for what it's worth They'd make beautiful babies And raise them up To be a couple of fucking monsters <laughs> meaning Okay, I feel like there's no hidden meaning. You don't have to think much about it. it. It might sound a bit harsh for a lot of people, I guess. You know, talking about their beautiful babies and then they're gonna be fucking monsters. But I mean, I don't know, I, I like it. Um, throughout the album, she has this same attitude. And, and well, like I said, I think her voice is amazing. This song is gonna be stuck in my head. 10. I wish... Sounds sad. I was ten years old when I realized some goodbyes are forever. Oh. How can the person who taught me to breathe take the last breath right in front of Fuck. me? I know too much now. Yeah, it was so easy back then. We didn't even know it. Oh no. The herd turns to gray, but the blues here to stay. Damn it. Yeah, me too. As a kid, it's just horrible to see your parents cry. It's awful. It's like the and it's it's not wrong. People cry, you know. But like your parents try to not cry in front of you, you know, to be strong, because it does affect you. Though it's not really their fault. I think that the times that I felt more useless when I've seen my parents cry. That's the worst feeling ever. Talking about how his dad died And how he wished he could have been there He said How could the person who taught me to breathe mm. Take the last breath now in front of me I know too much now When we were kids, life was so much easier because we were unaware of all the negative things in the world that we were too young to understand because you see your parents grieve their parents and then you realize that you're gonna have to go through the same thing with them Oh 
gosh, this is hitting hard for me. The colors they change, your hair turns to gray, but the blues you stay so. Oh, oh God, her voice. When she said, I've been grieving since 10 years old. When I was younger, my, I had my four grandparents alive. And I kind of felt like, you know, we were invincible. Because I saw that some kids my age didn't have their four grandparents alive. Um, or their parents sometimes. And then my grandfather passed away when I was like nine. And um, that was a slap in the face for me. That really changed me, I think. Well, my perspective. And uh, well, we're not invincible, clearly. And uh, like the song says, ever since then, I've been mourning something that hasn't happened yet. Beautiful melody, beautiful sad song. Oh, when she says, stay a little longer. Fuck. She's hitting all the right topics for me. 11 willow please don't be sad looks like you still get used to being fully grown. I know willow is a tree right slow down man. there's still more to go so i'm coming to you can i get your permission to okay. lay underneath you not a special occasion i just had a feeling wanna ask how you do it and mean it i mean it That falsetto on the back. Don't have to use your own tears just to grow your nose. Just keep your passion for flowers and it'll patch up your youth. And there's a whole lot of rain, but there's a hole in the roof. It makes it easy to swim in a bad attitude. So I'm coming to you. I like that part. Can I get your permission to lay underneath you? Not a special. I think that's a pretty part. I just had a feeling. Wanna ask how you do it and mean it. I mean it. It's, it. She has great melodies. It's hard not to like a song. The album was produced by Alexander Twenty Three. I didn't know that. I, well, and the last song is called Twenty Three for some reason. You know, <laughs> um, Twenty Three. Number 12. It's my Jordan year, and I thought this shit would look good on me, but I just feel okay. weird. 23 years old. Everything looks good on paper, displayed on the shelf. Nobody thinks they should save her, cause she's the one. 65 days later, I still haven't learned to calm down, but I blow candles out. But tomorrow I turn 12. Oh, and it feels like everyone hates me. So, how old do you have to be? To live so young and careless. My wish is that I cared less. At 23. I could have written this song when I was 23, there's no way. I did feel like that, but um, she was very aware of it. When I was 23, I wasn't worried about growing old yet. Now I am. I'm 28 and I would like to stop it, please. The bags on my eyes, no they're not designer, but they're overpriced. I paid for with crying. Mm. I like that. The bags on my eyes. No, they're not designer, but they're overpriced. I paid for it with crying. And every ex hits my phone like happy birthday. Are you alone? You tried to ruin 22. So don't pretend mm. that now we're cool. But tomorrow I turn 12. And it feels like everyone. Yep, 
23 is a confusing age. a great sentence to end the album with um i hope that i can care less but i'm afraid to care less i feel like there's a lot of pressure you know like our parents had kids when they were like in their 20s and look at us now like most of us millennials and well in she's gen c we start to feel like we're going nowhere because our parents were already married and had children but yeah but i mean things were very different back then it it's a great song after i wish you know it closes the album perfectly and at the end she says i hope i see 24. i'm sure you'll do renee you're gonna be fine some of these songs are gonna be stuck in my head tummy hurts pretty girls I liked all of them. I've seen that she has a couple of singles that I haven't heard that um, she released before the album. I want to listen to that too. Renee Rapp. I mean, she has a great name. It's like you can't name your kid Renee Rapp and not expect the kid to be some famous person. I don't know. I think it's the alliteration. And it's a short name, you know? I don't know. I have a thing for names. I loved it. Um, I was trying to see if it had any um, Grammy nominations, but it, it didn't. I feel like, well, I, you know, every day I hate the Grammys more. Because I would definitely put her there in, like, the new artist category. Well, I hope she makes more music. And I think she's gonna be on uh, Coachella, so that's awesome. Um, okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm hot and hungry. Bye.